Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics. We want to show you here that the convolution is commutative. And remember in our chapter, we're taking the approach of applying concepts of convolution to a specific circuit, the low pass circuit, rather than doing formal derivations. So we're going to see if this commutes. We have f of t is equal to 1 for t going from 0 to 1, and g of t is equal to e to the minus t. Now this is the convolution, and we have looked at this convolution already, and we want to flip the, the f and g, so to speak, where I put the g first and the f second. So that means instead of f of u in the general formula for the convolution, I have g of u. And then instead of g shifted, I have the f function shifted. Now, I have a slight problem here because I don't see any u's in the f function, so I don't know how to shift this thing. So we're going to instead use a change of variables, and that's how we're going to get around it. We're going to say, all right, let's let t minus u equals z. Then du is equal to minus dz. And as u goes from 0 to t, we have the z going from t, when u is 0, z is t, and when u grows up to be t, z is 0. So doing that, we look at this equation that has the g of u put in there. Now the g of u is our exponential e to the minus u. Now let's just remind ourselves that there it is, e to the minus t. So since that one's coming first, you make it u and simply use the same function, e to the minus u. And then for the f of t minus u, I'm going to use the change of variable trick that t minus u is my z, my du is my negative dz, and my integration limits for the z backwards here, I'm going from t to 0. Notice that I can flip the limits of integration and get rid of that minus sign, so I have this, and then I come down here and notice that I can pull out the e to the minus t out like this and have this integral. But when we look at this, it's the same form as the integral when you set up the f first and the g second. So that means we have succeeded. We have shown this is to be true. This is an integration variable, this z. So I can make that z anything I want. So I just make it u. And that's what we have for our convolution, you see the other way. Notice that that e to the minus t could be pulled straight out. That's cool because this integration is over u. But when they set up the definition, they have it in there like that. But since in this case, I can consider this as two factors, I can pull the e to the minus you know, t straight out. So we have done it. We have the result for this case, and we'll then state the general case here, that the convolution is commutative. You can do it in any order, apply the definition, where you take the first function and make it f of u, and then the second function becomes the argument t minus u. You can do it with the f and g like this, or you can flip the g and the f and do it and get the same result.